Hi, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to look at a very interesting series. <clears throat> we are going to see some examples regarding convergence and divergence series. Okay, we say in the series A sub n convergence series implies the limit of A sub n as n goes to infinity equal to zero. Okay, when you have this convergent series. It's more powerful to control your limit as an infinite finite limit, okay? But if you have infinite limit, it's it's hard to control your convergence, okay? So I'm going to prove this one. So proof. So let's set so let's set as a sub n go to the a sub n. The, the sum of a sub n which is a sub 0 plus a sub 1 and all the way down to the a sub n okay we have this one is a convergence convergence series this implies the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity equal to l as an infinite limit okay also the limit a sub n minus 1 as n goes to infinity equal to the same limit L. Okay? So I'm going to calculate the difference. S sub n minus S sub n minus 1. So S sub n equal to A0 plus A sub 1 plus A, A sub 2 and all the way down to the A sub n minus 1 plus A sub n minus S sub n minus 1 which is a sub 0 plus a sub 1, a sub 2, and all the way down to the a sub n minus 1. Okay? Now I'm going to cancel the most of the terms. a sub 0 will be cancelled out, a sub 1 will be cancelled out, all the way down to the a sub n minus 1 will be cancelled out as well. So a sub n minus a sub n minus 1 equal to a sub n. So I'm going to apply the limit on both sides. So the limit of a sub n minus the limit of a sub n minus 1 as n goes to infinity equal to the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity the limit of s sub n equal to l and also the limit of s sub, s sub n minus 1 equal to l as well which is 0 equal to the limit a sub n as n goes to infinity equal to zero. We have the convergence series implies the limit of a sub n equal to zero. The question this theorem is valid all the time. We are going to see. Okay. Let's take the example. We take in this example. That's this uh, the series of a sub n. We take in this example n over n plus 1 the series of the sum of n over n plus 1 as n goes from 1 to infinity okay with a sub n equal to n over n plus 1 i'm going to show this one is divergent series in order to show this series is convergence or divergent we are simply going to calculate the limit of this one so the limit a sub n as n goes to infinity okay then the limit of this one of n over n plus one as n goes to infinity okay i'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by n so we'll have the limit of one over one plus one over is one equal to one because the limit of one over n equal to zero so we'll have so this one is different than zero. Since this one is different than zero, that's mean is not verifying the theorem that we have before. That's mean this series is a divergence. So we are going to see another example. Okay. So second example, we have this series one over n as n goes. So simply we are going to calculate the limits of this one to see this one is verified or not. 
So their limit 1 over n as n goes to infinity equal to 0. This is not convergent, this is divergent series, okay? Because this is harmonic series. Okay, we already proved this one is a divergent, okay? This one we are going to see in the next video, we are going to see these examples because this these series are totally different from one another, okay? For now, I have done with this proof. We will see more examples in next coming videos. Just consider subscribe. If you have any questions, just put in the comment. Thank you for watching. I will see you in next video. Bye.